The internet has revolutionized nearly every aspect of our lives, from work and play to relationships. It's a vast, endless expanse where countless people and ideas intermingle. Whether you're into technology, art or politics, there's a corner of the internet tailored to your interests and beliefs. The internet has connected us in unprecedented ways, allowing people from all corners of the globe to come together. It's a vast library containing countless pieces of information, from useful to irrelevant, legal to illicit, moral to immoral. If you need something, whether it's a service or product, the internet can provide it. However, it's essential to choose how you use this information wisely. The dark web, a hidden layer of the internet, is a haven for criminal activities. It's a place where criminals, predators, spies, and even human traffickers operate all while remaining anonymous. Accessible in minutes, the dark web is a world that many are curious about but few dare to explore. Let's explore the internet in three different layers. First, there's the surface web, where you hang out daily, YouTube, Twitter, and all the social media buzz. This space, known as the World Wide Web, is easily searchable via engines like Google. Imagine this, every second, 1,000 photos hit Instagram, 8,000 tweets fly on Twitter, 70,000 Google searches occur, and almost 100,000 YouTube videos play. The surface web seems vast, and it truly is in terms of activity. You can dig up a lot about someone, but certain private things like bank details or medical records are off-limits, secured behind passwords on specific sites. Now, let's step into the deep web where unindexed content hides. If it's not on Google, it's in the deep web. Surprisingly, you've technically wandered into the deep web by logging into your email. It's not as mysterious as it sounds, just a bit more discreet than the surface web. But here is the kicker. The deep web holds a hopping 96% of all internet content. Even if you surfed news sites every day for 50 years, you barely scratch the surface of this immense sea of information. Much of it, you wouldn't even be able to access. The internet is like an iceberg, and what we see is just the tip. Beyond the deep web, in the smallest corner of the internet, lies a part where things stay within encrypted websites. It's a hidden realm, inaccessible without IP addresses, making users nearly untraceable through encrypted software that conceals their identities. This is the dark web, a space where anything goes. But how does it work? How can one remain hidden on a platform that's accessible to almost everyone? When you're on the surface web, chances are your online activities are being tracked, while the idea of the FBI watching your every move may be exaggerated. For the average person, online actions are often monitored. Websites track your searches and activities to tailor advertisements to fit your interests. Social media giants like Facebook and Amazon are notorious for selling user data to advertisers worldwide, a transaction you unknowingly agreed to in those unread terms and conditions. This isn't a coincidence. The internet wasn't designed for anonymity. Some view this as an invasion of privacy, while others don't see an issue. But how far can this surveillance go before it becomes a problem? Interestingly, over 20 years ago, the US government pondered this question. They sought a system to protect their online communications. With the internet not built for universal anonymity, intercepting government transmissions during relay was a concern. In the mid-1990s, researchers at the US Naval Research Laboratory developed Onion Routing. This system protects data by wrapping it in multiple layers of encryption, with the original message at the core. Imagine needing to send a message through three midpoints. Let's call them A, B, and C. The message is wrapped in three layers of encryption, with each layer knowing only the previous and next points. As the message travels through these points, layers are gradually stripped, revealing the final message only at the destination. Onion routing allows data to traverse multiple locations without vulnerability to interception. It operates on the principle that only those who should see the information can access it, ensuring privacy and security. Now, before I show you the technology that is used to access the dark web, if you're new here and unsubscribed, make sure to like this video and hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on what's going on in the latest technology and in the world around us. Onion routing is the technology behind darkness, like Tor, creating a parallel online world that exists alongside the familiar internet. To navigate this hidden realm, specialized software is required. Tor, short for the Onion Rotor, 
is one such software designed to facilitate anonymous online browsing. Despite appearing like a regular web browser, Tor and other darknets allow access to web pages beyond the reach of the general public. Entering the dark web demands specific tools, drawing a diverse user base from across the globe. The web addresses here are unconventional, lacking the familiarity of mainstream sites like YouTube.com. Instead, they are strings of random characters, concluding with Omian rather than Org. Traditional browsers won't open these pages, but Tor makes it possible. Welcome to the dark web, your initial introduction to a place like the hidden wiki. This repository contains an extensive list of hidden services available in the dark web. From counterfeit US driver's licenses to illicit weapons and drugs, the offerings are diverse and extensive. Yet, we're merely scratching the surface. Similar to the surface web, marketplaces thrive in the dark web, where one can buy items that are hard to obtain elsewhere, even including unconventional items like rocket launchers. In the realm of online activities, where there's a demand, a supply is bound to emerge. When authorities shut down one illicit site, five new ones quickly take its place. Silk Road, a notorious example, was succeeded by Silk Road 2.0, which also faced a similar fate within a year. The pattern continued with Silk Road 3.0 and subsequent versions, persisting over the years. Surprisingly, those involved in creating and managing these sites faced much lighter sentences compared to Ross Ulbricht, the mastermind behind the original Silk Road. While Ulbricht received two life sentences, others, including the top seller on Silk Road, got just 10 years. The creator of Silk Road 2.0 received a little over five years for essentially the same offense. These dark web activities have repercussions even for those who never venture into that hidden online space. Data breaches and leaks have become commonplace, impacting people who may be oblivious to the existence of the dark web. Personal information, including social security numbers, is readily available for purchase at shockingly low prices, putting anyone at risk of identity theft. For just a few dollars, one can access botnets to carry out disruptive cyber attacks, causing temporary shutdowns of websites and services. This poses a significant threat to individuals and businesses alike. Even if you've never experienced the dark side of the internet, your personal information might still be out there, vulnerable to misuse. Disturbingly, sensitive data such as medical records, stolen credit cards, and information about politicians, celebrities, and ordinary individuals are not only up for sale, but also freely accessible on certain websites. The implications of this pervasive issue are far-reaching. And unfortunately, there's limited recourse for those affected. Even more concerning than what we've discussed so far, there are even darker activities happening on the dark web. Some services claim to offer hitmen for hire, willing to carry out assassinations for as little as $5,000. While many of these turn out to be scams, the fact that some people trust strangers on the internet to commit real murders is deeply unsettling. There are also forums discussing the abduction of children from various parts of the world, where individuals share ideas on how to hide them, describe the children they own, and discuss disturbing actions to be taken in private. This glimpse into the darkest corners of the internet reveals a space without rules, where anything can exist, and the deeper you go, the more horrifying things you'll find. Surprisingly, despite the notorious reputation of the dark web, approximately half of the funding for Tor, the network enabling anonymous internet access, comes from the United States government. It's astonishing when you consider the criminal activities associated with the dark web. That is arrested for illegal activities often don't fit the stereotypical image of physically threatening criminals. They could be your neighbors, people you see at the grocery store, seemingly ordinary individuals engaged in extraordinary and illicit online activities. While the dark web is often portrayed as a vast criminal underworld filled with the worst of society, the reality is more nuanced. There are an estimated two to 10,000 hidden services on the dark web, with just over half considered illicit. However, these numbers are uncertain due to the intentional secrecy of hidden services. Less than 6% of Tor users actually access these hidden services, translating to fewer than 120,000 people out of the billions using the internet. It's a tiny fraction of users involved in the dark web especially considering the vast number of websites on the internet. Despite the alarming aspects of the dark web, it serves a purpose for some. 
Many countries censor internet content deemed obscene by their governments, but the dark web provides a space free from such censorship. This allows individuals to share information truthfully without fear of reprisal or physical threats. Major news networks even operate dark web services, providing a platform for people to come forward with information without the risk of exposure or public backlash. So, while the darkest corners of the web exist, other parts are essential for shedding light on important matters without the constraints of censorship or fear. In today's digital age, most people willingly share their entire lives on the internet. A decade or so ago, this would have been considered absurd and foolish, but now it's become quite commonplace. While it may seem like we're sacrificing our online privacy, the dark web offers a kind of shield for those seeking to reclaim their privacy and anonymity. It presents individuals with the option to use this newfound freedom for either positive or negative purposes. On the dark web, various items, including mostly illegal drugs, are available. Surprisingly, some argue that these substances can serve positive purposes, especially for those unable to access them elsewhere. Despite widespread belief from authorities and the public that platforms like Silk Road have had overwhelmingly negative impacts, its founder, Ross Ulbricht, saw it differently. Albrecht believed he was providing a valuable service by creating a safer and more authentic marketplace, reducing the risks associated with the illegal drug trade. However, despite Albrecht's seemingly peaceful intentions, he ironically engaged the services of dark web hitmen in attempts to have six individuals killed. The interpretation of the dark web's nature largely depends on one's perspective and openness to different viewpoints. It's essential to recognize that the dark web doesn't have to be a sinister place. Its scariness primarily arises when one actively seeks out disturbing content. While you can't completely eliminate such content, you can choose to steer clear of it. Certain aspects of the dark web might be best left unseen by the average person. If you want to avoid potential pitfalls, it's advisable to stay away from the dark web. Regardless of whether you believe the dark web is as nefarious as portrayed, approaching it without adequate knowledge can lead to unintended consequences, as once you enter, it's not easy to get out of it. If you enjoyed this content, make sure to give this video a like and consider subscribing to watch more content like this one. And before you leave, check out these videos as well.